So in this video, we will see what is a product rule and what is the quotient rule in differentiation. So we will mathematically define this, mathematically define it. So the first thing is that uh, what is, if I'm having a function one, my function one is f of x is equal to, it can be given as, function one can be given as u of x. This is my function one and v of x is my function two. Both of these are function of x. This is f1x and this is function f2x. So when I'm having two functions, it is possible to find the differentiation of a function like y of x is equal to u of x into v of x. In such cases, I want to find a differentiation of dy of x divided by dx. Then it's possible to find it in a simple way like given by what is known as my product rule which says that dy by dx is is equal to u of x into v dash x plus v of x into u dash x here v dash x is equal to dy or dv dvx divided by dx and u dash x is equal to dux divided by dx. So if I'm generally writing a function as dy by dx can be written as u into v dash plus v into u dash where it is assumed that y v and u are f functions of x. This is what is known as my product rule. And when I am taking another function which is same, my u of x was my first function and my v of x was my second function and I have a function of y of x which is given by uh, u of x divided by v of x which can be generally given as y is equal to u by v where it is assumed that all these are functions of all are functions of uh, functions of x. So my dy by dx can be given in this case as u or v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square. This is what is known as my quotient rule. And for a function y is equal to uv, my dy by dx was equal to what was uv dash plus vu dash. So it's easy to remember it in this case where my u dash is equal to dy, du by dx and my v dash is equal to dv by dx. So it's easy to remember in this way that your u will come first and then the second is the differentiation and then it will be the opposite here. So by remembering the product rule, you can easily remember what will be your quotient rule. In this case, it will be opposite here that your opposite will happen in this case. That is your V will be uh, as it is and your U will be the one which is differentiated and there will be a minus sign and in in the denominator you will have a v square. So taking a simple example to demonstrate this, if 
I'm having a function u is equal to x square and I'm having a function v is equal to e raised to x then my function y is equal to u v is equal to x square into e raised to x and I need to find dy by dx so to solve that it can be simply solved by this way that my y dash is equal to my u into v dash plus v into u dash so my u I am keeping it as it is so this is my u and this is my v so my u I am keeping as it is it is x square and my v dash I will differentiate this and it will give me what is known as my ex plus what is my v I will keep my v as it is and then I will differentiate what is my u dash which will give me something like a 2x which is x raised to n is equal to n into x raised to n minus 1 so by applying that I will get this and by simply differentiating that this is the answer which I am getting so this is the application of the product rule and if I am having a function the same function if I am taking y is equal to u by v which is equal to x square upon e raised to x which can be written as x square into e raised to minus x and this can be solved by using the product rule but if I want to solve it in this way without using the product rule I can directly apply the quotient rule which will give me a y dash is equal to uh, v into u dash plus minus of u into v dash divided by v square which is equal to x into or uh, x square into e raised to x minus of x or uh, minus of e raised to x into 2x divided by what was my v square so it is x raised to 4 now so if I am simplifying this further it will give me e raised to x divided by x square or um, I can take my x common here so it will cancel so it is x into e raised to x minus e 2 e raised to x divided by x cube so my x I took it common and I cancelled it with here so this is what is my answer which I am getting by applying my quotient rule so that was how to define the product rule and the quotient rule and apply it